Welcome to today's edition of the OPEX Minute, presented by EMS Consulting Group. Today, we will be talking about defining problems. Whether you are using Six Sigma Demaic, Lean Problem Solving, or even 8D as your problem solving method, it is critical to understand how to define problems properly. What most people think of as a problem is generally too narrow of a definition. We define a problem as the gap between the current condition and the target condition or standard. This broader definition will allow for an array of problems at multiple levels. Any good problem solving process will aim to identify the primary causes or obstacles preventing us from reaching the target condition or standard, and then will allow us to identify and execute countermeasures to the causes. There will also be follow-up and monitoring. In order to define problems, we need four key pieces of data. First, we need the actual performance of the process. What is the current condition? Next, we need the desired performance or goal. Then we need to quantify the gap or magnitude of the problem. What is the difference between the actual performance and the desired performance? Finally, we need to know what the characteristics of the problem are. Is the problem worsening, for example? Let's look at a problem statement. The packaging department has failed to meet its planned production during normal working hours 70% of the time over the past three months, resulting in excessive overtime. The target condition is to meet the plan 95% of the time and reduce overtime to less than $1,000 per month. This problem statement is fairly well stated. We have a chart that illustrates our failure to meet target on a consistent basis. And we also have a chart that shows the overtime costs which describes the impact of the problem. There is much more you can do to help define a problem, including some tools for refining problem definitions. And we are planning on covering some of these in future OPEX minutes. We provide coaching and training in problem solving for a wide variety of organizations across many industries. If you have an interest in learning more about problem solving, visit our website at www.emsstrategies.com and contact us. We would be happy to help.